Excellent. So today we're looking at frequency tables, which is the next step from stem and leaf plots. Important thing is to remember when looking at frequency tables, our intervals are always equal. Uh, you usually have four or more intervals. In my example, we'll show you why. And always practice makes perfect. It is a skill to look at numbers and be able to organize them. And it will take a couple of times of just practicing. So here's an example for you. Let's say these are... Uh, magazine dollars raised for a fundraiser uh, ranging from about uh, 84 to I think the high 83 to 118 here is what not to do so this is an X for an interval table now I'll explain why one I've made my intervals way too big and as a result the information is skewed it looks like there's as many below 100 well roughly 7 and 9 are pretty close. So I can't really get any information from this. And it also gives a false impression that some student maybe sold only 5 magazines, or maybe some student sold 180, which is not the case. What this needs is a more accurate interval table. And here's what I mean by accurate. So I've taken this, and I've made it more accurate. First off, I've changed the intervals. Instead of 100, I've made them by 10. So I did 80 to 89, 90 to 99, and so on. And then what I did was I counted the numbers that fit in to each section. So I have 3 between 80 and 89. I have 4 for 90 to 99. I have 8 between 100, and if I count 110 to 119, I only see 1, 118. So I'm going to put a 1 there, and then put the 1 in brackets, just so I know. So you can see how this interval table is a lot more accurate. And now, I can make more accurate conclusions. I can say that people uh, sold in a range of 80 to 119 magazines. Each student sold around that amount. And that most students sold between 100 and 109. So I was able to make a more precise representation of the data than here. Mainly because I used four or more intervals instead of just two. And it's okay to start at 80, you don't always have to start at 0. Let's move on to another example. This is a stem and leaf plot that we did yesterday. And all I've done is taken that and turned it into a frequency table. So here's kind of the same idea. I looked up at the data, 5 to 9, there was the 9 up there, so there's 1. 10 to 14, there was 1, so I put that there. 14 to 19, there was 3, so I put the 3 there. 20 to 24, 2, so I put the 2 there. Uh, for this interval, I used 5, and sure enough, there it is, 4 intervals. 4 or more, usually. Here's the next one. This one we were dealing with the decimal. So remember the 11.34, 13.2, and so on. Here, I made my interval just 1, but I, I have like 12.0 to 12.9. Let's say this is like a 100 meter race. And you can see how I took the 12.0 to 12.9, there was 2, put those there, and 2. And I just classified that information. And then second to last, we have that big thousand dollar one and the same idea. The one thing I wanted to make mention of, uh, you can see here that it's either 1,100, 1,100, 1,300, 1,400. But here I have an interval between 1,200 and 1,299. You always have to have the same interval between. So even though there was no student who sold or who raised between 1,200 and 1,299, I still put it there. It's zero. Is this what you do for intervals? It helps keep the information more accurate and it doesn't leave any loose ends. And then lastly, I threw in this one as well. Uh, this is like a real life example. So let's say I, tr I charted rainfall in Kingston for the last 14 days, looking at millimeters of rainfall. So I made my intervals 0 to 4 millimeters, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, 15 to 19, and 20 plus. I filled it in. And just so you know, for future reference, if you look here, all the data is between 0 and about 20. 
But then in this dot here, 45 appears, and that's what known as, that's what's known as a an outlier. Maybe something that's really low, <laughs> or something that's very high. So to solve this, rather than doing 2025, 20, sorry, 2024, 20, 25, 39, and all all up, I just put 20 plus. You can do this sign only at the end of an interval. The bottom one can have that. You can't just you have to keep the same scale throughout, and then you can make the last one a little bit bigger if you have to account for one that's way out there. There you go. If you understand all this, then you're set. Uh, hopefully everyone has a great weekend, and see you on Tuesday.